I've done turkey drumsticks, turkey breasts, whole turkeys. Today, I'm going to smoke some turkey thighs out on the Weber kettle. So I've got a couple nice turkey thighs and the first thing I need to do is get a rub ready for them. It's kind of a cross between a rub and a marinade because it's going to go in the refrigerator for about four hours and we're going to have some olive oil in it. So let's get started on that. I'm going to start with a teaspoon of granulated garlic, a teaspoon of dried rosemary. This isn't ground up rosemary, it's the actual rosemary little leaves, whatever you want to call them, needles that are dried. A teaspoon of thyme half a teaspoon of celery salt, and a teaspoon each of coarse ground salt and coarse ground black pepper. Let's give this a little mix first. Now we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Gonna give this a good mix. It's gonna be sort of a thin slurry. That's what I'm looking for. Let's get the turkey thighs out. First thing I want to do with these thighs before I get that herb seasoning marinade on them is I want to clean them up, see if there's any excess skin we need to trim off. Right now it's not looking too bad on this one. See the skin is adhering to the flesh here. It's not lots of flap. There's a little bit right here, but I'm not concerned about that. It's really if you have any big, loose, floppy pieces, you want to get rid of those. But everything here seems to be adhered pretty well. I want to check if there's any leftover little feathers stuck there. Got one. Everything else there? Looks pretty good. Let's get some seasoning on these. I'm just going to pour this all on here and scrape out any with my hand, with the glove on my hand. It's going to get both sides of these turkey thighs. Work them around in here. Roll them over on each other, spread that marinade around. This is exactly what I'm looking for. These are gonna sit in the refrigerator now for about four hours covered. I'll bring you back when it's time to take them out to the Weber kettle. Time to fire up the Weber kettle. I'm gonna use my propane torch to light the charcoal in the slow and sear. I prefer using the torch to light uh, charcoal when it's a little bit breezy. And it, it has been a little breezy today. I just don't want you know embers or ashes and things like that blowing around. So the torch is an easy way to get charcoal going. Okay, the coals are looking good. I wanna get some water added to the reservoir in the slow and sear. So that's mostly full and that's fine for the length of cook this is gonna be somewhere around two hours, maybe three, but it's probably gonna be closer to two. You see I have the foil on one side of the kettle. That's just sort of to catch the drips, make cleanup a little easier. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move some of the unlit charcoal over so it's in contact with the lit charcoal. This is sort of a modified version of the way you're supposed to do it with the slow and I've done this before. And you can see I have some spent charcoal here in the middle, which is sort of a buffer and it'll, it'll ignite and add a little more heat don't like to waste charcoal. It's got a little bit of life left in it, I'll use it. All right, let's go ahead and get the cooking grate on. Position my grate with the flip up wing over the slow and sear. Let's be adding wood on this side when the time's right. See, I have my temperature probe for the kettle over here, probably about, I don't know, eight inches back from the charcoal. This is gonna give me a generalized temperature at grate level. All right, let's get the lid on and start building up some temp. So the vents on the Weber kettle are wide open, both top and bottom. I'm gonna leave them like that until it's time to put the turkey on. Then I'm gonna dial them in so we get somewhere around 300 degrees. But before we get that turkey on, I need to make a glaze that's gonna go on when those turkey thighs are closer to being done. The glaze I'm gonna be using on these turkey thighs when they get closer to being done, it's very simple, two ingredients. We're gonna be using half a cup of maple syrup and two tablespoons of your favorite barbecue sauce. I'm using a sweet Memphis sauce here. Get our sauce in there. And we're just gonna mix this up. It's gonna give us a combination of that sort of tangy barbecue flavor and the sweetness in the glaze. 
Give it a little taste. Oh, really nice, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside in the refrigerator and we're gonna get the turkey thighs out, get them out on the Weber kettle. All right, the kettle is in the upper 200s at great level, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off and let's get our turkey thighs on. internal meat probe into this guy right here. Get into the thickest part, not touching bone. Our internal meat temperature is showing 42 degrees. Good placement of the probe. Probably somewhere between 40 and 42, so we're good. Want to get some wood on here? I'm going to be using pecan today. I'm going to let that catch. Our wood is starting to catch. Time to get our lid on, build some smoke, and cook these turkey thighs. So I'm gonna be taking these turkey thighs to 165 degrees, which is the recommended temperature for poultry. At about 130 degrees though, I'm gonna be glazing them with that glaze we made. I'm gonna play with the vents a little bit, but my guess is I'm actually gonna be leaving them 100% open because we want this temperature in here to be 300 to 350. Not necessarily gonna get crispy, crispy skin on this, but I'm gonna get good skin with that glaze. So I'll see you back here in a bit when it's time to check these turkey thighs. Okay, we are at 129 internal. Let's see how we're doing. Those are looking really nice. All right, let's get some glaze on those. Nice barbecue saucy, sweety, mapley glaze. I've used a similar glaze to this on chicken and other turkey before. It's really nice. This is where that drip pan or foil down there comes in handy to catch all this sticky glaze that drips down. Still got really good coals here. I'm gonna put another piece of pecan on. All right, lid goes back on. We're gonna let it finish up, go to 165 before we pull it. Okay, we just hit 165 internal on these turkey thighs. I wanna do a quick check with the instant read to confirm that. So let's see how we're doing. Oh, nice color on those. I'm gonna do a check on this one right here. Yep, that one's showing 164.9. <laughs> I think that counts. Let me check our big guy right here. Make sure we miss the bone. Yeah, 167, this one's good, okay. All right, we are done. Let's get our temperature probe out. Get these off, get them inside have a taste. Here are our maple glazed turkey thighs. The color on them, I hope you can see, came out just wonderful and that's part of that glaze. When you get that maple glaze on there with the barbecue sauce mixed in for those last 30 to 35 degrees, the color is just enriched. The smoke does not hurt either. Let me tell you, smoke really does affect color, especially on poultry with the skin. I've found that to be especially true um, using olive wood, and pecan and hickory. And now let's cut into one of these. I'm gonna go with this guy. So I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. I'm gonna move this guy over here. Now we're gonna slice. Oh, it's nice and hot. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that juice. <laughs> look at that. Just completely completely full of juice here and we didn't even brine this. Oh, look at that. All right, it's time to taste. Here we go, some really super juicy turkey thigh. I mean, I love cooking chicken thighs. You get that fat, you get flavor. The same goes for turkey. If you want a lot of flavor, a lot of moisture, choose turkey thighs. Here we go. Mmm. That combination of flavors in that rub marinade mixture, it just reminds you of fall. Could be Thanksgiving, could be Christmas, anywhere in between. It just has that sort of holiday feel, that holiday flavor when you bite into it. Mm. 
Now, some people would say, but you didn't have sage in there. I don't think you always have to have sage. If you want that sage flavor, you can add it. But I find that mixture of thyme and rosemary and a little bit of celery salt gives you a great flavor on poultry. Mm. And this glaze, simple. Barbecue sauce, maple syrup helps give you that color, helps give you a little bit of a crust on the outside. This is not super crispy skin, but it is not rubbery, floppy skin. Our total cook time on this was about an hour and 45 minutes, which was a little under what I thought. Usually these take about two hours to do. But I gotta tell you, if you've got four hours to invest in marinating this and a couple hours to cook it, it's well worth it. Mm. So if you don't wanna cook a whole turkey, and you want some very rich, very flavorful, very juicy meat, try smoking some turkey thighs like this with simple seasoning. It's incredible.